Express. Hello, this is Leading the Way at Leonard's Express, and I'm your host, Dwayne Nepper. Today, heading into the 4th of July, we're talking about one of our favorite topics, the Leonard's Express Pink Shot Wrap Truck Program. And of course, riding shotgun with me, Leonard's Express CEO, Ken Johnson. Hey, Dwayne. Thanks for having me again. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, Leonard's Express is showing appreciation and support for our veterans by giving several of our trucks a military makeover. As part of our wrapped uh, truck program, similar to our uh, breast cancer and Parkinson's trucks, we're vinyl wrapping a brand new truck with a military theme designed for each of our five terminals, North Carolina, Caldwell, Idaho, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Wilmington, Delaware, and Farmington. We're signing the uh, trucks to drivers who have served in the uh, military and it's an honor for us to have two of those drivers with us today. Uh, first, uh, Air Force veteran Keith Buchanan, and also joining us is U.S. Marine Corps veteran Bob Williams. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Yeah, also joining us is Leonard's Express Director of Organizational Development, Tim Owens. Uh, Tim, you manage the, the RAP truck program. What inspired you uh, and the Leonard's leadership to team to launch this program. Well, thanks so much for having me here, Dwayne. This is really exciting. We uh, we knew that the Johnson brothers were very uh, supportive of veterans. I myself am very supportive of veterans, and it was pretty apparent that the, uh, the employee workforce was also. And last year, we started a, a, a Veterans Day thank you card program, and we got us talking about how else we can honor our veterans, specifically our drivers. Uh, they're the bread and butter of our business. And we realized that we had a lot of veterans who were drivers as well. And the Nexus just, it just developed and became this wrap truck program. Awesome. Bob, last week, Leonard's Express CEO, Ken Johnson, traveled all the way from New York to Idaho to personally present your truck. What does that mean to you? It meant the world to me. It's like uh, finally recognized from a service and I'm finally back home. Keith, you also had a very special uh, and at times emotional ceremony. Can you, you tell us about it? Yeah, it was, uh, I wasn't prepared really for the feeling that, that I felt once I got there. Um, being, it was such an honor to be able to, to be selected for that. But I did it, uh, I wanted to dedicate it to my dad, who was a Korean War and Vietnam War veteran. And I had always... Uh, admired him and had just been, uh, I knew that they never received the hero's welcome that, that my generation received and just to be able to dedicate it to him was truly an honor. Absolutely. Bob, you had a pretty emotional moment as well. Uh, you wanted to make a dedication as well. Yeah. I wanted to uh, say the truck is not just for me. It's all for that 58,300 that never came back home and all the the ones that came back home but still live with it every day so that's the main thing the truck is basically for them you know let's take a look at the video we produced to recap the event thank you for coming for this unveiling of our first patriotic wrap truck we're super excited about it today is an awesome day this is why I work for a family-owned company. As an American, I don't think there is anything we treasure more than the freedom that we experience each day. And I think it is critically important that we recognize the members of our team who have served. Today, being the first unveiling, we, we are starting with the North Carolina terminal, and the driver that was chosen is Keith Buchanan. With all that being said, show us the truck. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow, I want to dedicate this moment to my to my dad, who was a 20-year Air Force veteran that served in Korea and Vietnam. And I lost my dad 10 years ago, but I know he's here with me 
in spirit today. And I just want to say thank you so much, Leonard's Express, and to the Johnson family. I can't imagine if a driver really got down and, and looked why they wouldn't want to come drive for such a phenomenal organization. That's what Leonard's Express is, Johnson Equipment and the, the entire Johnson family. I would rate this as the pinnacle of my career to be able to represent the branch that I loved, the country that I love, and this company that I love too and, and care so much about. Wow, what a powerful video. You know, when that video first came out and it was shared with us, uh, Shannon uh, Struzik, who uh, um, originally sent it out, challenged any of us who uh, watched it to uh, do so without um, a tear in their eye. And it's still, as many times as I've seen it, uh, it still uh, just uh, brings out a powerful emotion. So um, one of the best parts of the program, I think, and uh, I, I think it's uh, um very important part of the program as well is that the drivers that are participating get to help in the design and you know and the uh, trucks personalized to their experience in the service bob what are some of the unique features of your design well being a marine i'm kind of partial to the marine corps him so when uh, tom asked me what i wanted on it that's just kind of like the marine corps him i want the we fight our country's battles in the air, on land and sea, and that's kind of what it was. And he did it perfect. I'm just, I agree. Really, just really honored to be driving this truck. Well, we uh, we're certainly honored to have you with us. And uh, you know, uh, can you share any some of the details on the uh, like the uh, um, uh, decal on the back of the truck we're seeing that, now? That's the memorial wall, and. 58,300 lost, but not forgotten underneath always and always honored. That's what the truck is really for. Remembering them and honoring them. Even though they're not here to see it, they know it's happening. You know, Bob, wow. there's an important feature there on that uh, uh, wall of memory there. Uh, if you get up close, you can see a name that's highlighted Sergeant uh, Armstrong, unfortunately, I had to carry him to his last helicopter ride. He meant a lot to you. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, thanks for uh, sharing that, Bob. Um, Keith, how did you uh, um, decide on the things that you uh, thought, well, thought were important for your truck? Well, I, I just wanted to, to say real quick to Bob that um, the guys like Bob are, are my heroes. Um, I know from what my dad told me, what they experienced, the things that they went through. And uh, it, it just is a real honor to see Bob get this as well and, and what he chose. I, I love his truck. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, with mine... I really wanted a focus to be on the uh, the most beautiful flag in the world. Uh, nothing sparks my pride more than that red, white, and blue. Uh, and when I saw the truck, when they first sent me the design, I saw the way that, that they had focused the flag. And I was like, that is absolutely perfect. And then the two aircraft that's on there is the aircraft that I actually uh, worked on while I was in. And I just, um, I, I thought that uh, the guy's done a phenomenal job of uh, getting the detail on it. He, the one thing that people even comment to me on as I'm on the road is they can't get over how they can, they see the pilots even in the aircraft. It's the, the detail is, is so phenomenal. And then, of course, on the back, I wanted to make sure that all of our fallen heroes were remembered um, also because all of us gave something, but there were some that gave it all so that we could be sitting here. And I wanted that to be um, on there as well. Well, having the uh, privilege of uh, seeing both of your trucks, um, 
I don't think you could truly spend enough time walking around and looking at it to just uh, um, appreciate, you know, how much detail that each of them have. I mean, you, every time I would look at them and, you know, um, both trucks, I got, you know, a couple opportunities uh, before um, you guys received them, you know, and it's just, you know, you just stand in awe at the amount of detail that went into those trucks and, you know, and, and you know, and I, I know that uh, you guys played a role in it, but, uh, you know, and you've probably seen prints of the design and stuff, but uh, um, not being able to see the truck until it was actually unveiled, you know, was, uh, it was just, to me, just heartwarming and fun and, you know, special, you know, to be, be a part of. You know, Tim, Tim, if you, I was talking to Bob earlier, I'm sorry, I was talking to Bob earlier when he, when you first uh, proofed the designs that uh, they all took part in. Uh, <laughs> Bob thought he was going to have to spend some time uh, painting all the details on that truck. I think we were talking earlier, Ken, about how <laughs> you had to get a paintbrush to to detail some of the trucks. <laughs> he said, no, but a little easier said than done on that one. Go ahead, Tim. I'm sorry. I was going to say there's, you know, they, uh, you know, both Bob and uh, Keith were instrumental in designing but, you know, Tom Ewing at Ewing Graphics really did a tremendous job because he, he listened to the stories that both of these men shared and he incorporated that into their into their trucks. So, um, you know, specifically about Bob's truck, the soldiers in the front by the hood, they're all in Vietnam War era uniforms. Um, he's got the, the song and the hymn uh, on the upper and lower portions of the truck. And then there's also uh, a, a, a story that Chrissy Lafferty in Idaho shared with me that the plane on the upper portion on Bob's truck was actually um, a tribute to Chrissy's father who flew those planes and those planes had saved, uh, saved Bob and his buddies a number of times in battles. So it was actually really selfless of Bob many years later, uh, still looking out for others um, by incorporating Chrissy's story or Chrissy's father's story into his truck. And I, I thought that was really, really wonderful. And then going to uh, Keith's truck, you know, Tom Ewing put something special on there. It's the Air Force. And he took uh, Keith's nickname of Bucky and put that right under the right under the under the window like he's a like he's a pilot. And mm -hmm. I thought that was really neat, too. So if you look at the there's really some really cool designs that are incorporated in this. And the next truck that's coming out in the next few weeks, it's got a lot of the same type of thing. It's got some really customized, personalized items in there. And we're really excited to unveil that one, too, in the next few weeks. Awesome. Keith, I concur with your remarks about the the uh, symbolism of strength and courage uh, with the flag uh, is pretty pretty important element. I'm 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 uh, trying not to get too choked up here myself. I see the flag in the background there with you, uh, Ken. It's uh, it's again the the symbolism behind that, and then having you two guys on. Uh, well, that's a special flag too, there, Dwayne. Um, you know. The flags that uh, when we are dedicating the trucks, they have a flag post out the back and the flag is then dedicated to the driver. And the flag that Ken has behind him, maybe Ken would like to share that story. Yes, uh, you know, um, thanks Tim. And uh, it was a surprise, didn't know about it, but uh, um, you know, when my dad passed uh, several months ago, you know, um, it was suggested and uh, you know, that we have a Leonard's truck you know, with a special KJ on the door you know, outside the uh, church at a service and, uh, and a flag flew on the back of that truck and um, as well. And that's, uh, you know, that's the meaning behind that uh, flag. So, you know, obviously very special and, uh, you know, and appreciated you know, by my family. Wow. I, I saw yours too, Keith, there. You, you keep that. Yes, sir. She stays right here with me. Nice. <laughs> And nice. when I do a uh, when I do uh, a parade or anything, it it is used. This is the flag that I use. I put on the truck to display when I do a parade with it as well. Wow, great. Uh, you know, Tim, uh, Tim, and Leonard's Express Director of uh, Maintenance, Kevin Adrianson. He's not on with us today, but uh, was also involved in personally delivering Bob's truck. Um, they drove it all the way from New York to Idaho. Uh, I'm sh it captured, uh, I guess we have it captured all on, uh, on video. Um, here's a clip from that video. I think the uh, video is going to be that? edited a little bit okay. later. So, uh, right, um, so but it <laughs> we'll wait for that one to, to come. Well, that was a fun experience. We, uh, Kevin has a CDL and, and I don't, 
And uh, so I, I said, hey, we've got this second truck. We don't want to do the same thing we did for Keith. We want to do something different for Bob. And we really wanted to include the Idaho terminal. I mean, they're part of our family. We wanted to include them as well. So I kind of poked my head in and was talking with uh, Kevin about it. And I don't know which one of us said it, but I said, how about, how about we deliver it? We'll drive across country. And then we both looked at each other like, yes, that would be fun. So, um, you know, we kind of pitched it to, um, to uh, Ken and his brothers and they went for it. And two weeks ago or last week, we uh, jumped in the truck and drove cross country. And then um, part of that was not only a nice to have it for the Idaho terminal and all the folks there and for Bob, but then Ken showed up too. And I think it really resonated with the folks in Idaho um, because letting them know that they are part of our family and it is important. And then Kevin and I had a little bit of fun along the way. We figured, Hey, you know, we're going to be in the truck for a few days. Let's, let's make some fun out of this. And, um, we had a really good time and we had some, uh, some videos that we uh, shared and some videos that were, uh, more for some, some fun in the, uh, in the room off camera, <laughs> but we all had a really good time and it was, it was a fun experience. You know, I, uh, Go ahead. There was only one stipulation I put on the uh, two of you driving across. I don't think that stipulation was actually uh, uh, carried out. I um, said that uh, we have a driving school. There's no reason you can't have your license. Um, <laughs> all we have to do is uh, send you down back and help you get your permit, and we'd have you all set up in a heartbeat. But uh, I guess uh, that was overlooked in the uh, process. But, uh, yeah, if uh, both, uh, you know, the video that we're going to get a chance to see as well as just, you know, some of the uh, – um, pictures that were posted on um, you know, our social media and shared. It was. Uh, it looked like it was a lot of fun, and and they actually. Uh, it wasn't uh, just all fun and games. They actually brought a load of freight with them, um, you know, across the country. So uh, you know, it was kind of kind of neat to follow all that. The other nice thing them. too was that you know I got to I got to be on the road and see what Keith and Bob are experiencing every day and all the other 600 plus drivers we have at the company. And, you know, that for me was tremendous to, to help me understand what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, their sure. troubles, their frustrations. And, you know, we did have a couple of little mechanical blips that, that worked themselves out, but it was just the idea of being in the middle of, um, in the middle of nowhere at times, trying to come up with, with a solution to a problem. And it was really very helpful for me to understand and get into the, the head of a driver a little bit um, to help me, make their lives a little better here at the company as well. Tim, I imagine as, as Keith and Bob are probably experiencing now, the uh, many hearts that are being captured uh, as this truck is, is going down the highway that uh, you guys are sharing the road with. Uh, it's got to be phenomenal. Uh, oh, but Tim, go ahead. Go ahead. I just going to say a lot of thumbs up. I bet. I bet. Uh, Tim, in addition to honoring veterans and making you an internet sensation through the viral videos like, like the one we, we were watching or going to watch, the program is also raising money for some great causes. Can you tell us about the fundraising effort? The, I'm sorry, the fundraising effort? Yes. The, each, each truck is donated a penny per mile driven for the life of the truck. And um, Keith has chosen the um, Wounded Warrior Project. Bob's chosen the um, Tunnel to Towers Foundation, and the next truck is going to be Disabled American Veterans. And for, like I said, for the life of the truck, a penny per mile will be donated to organizations. Also, each one of those um, charities has a specific web, web page set up for Leonard's Express, so people can go in and donate above and beyond that as well. Uh, so it's really not only we're we supporting veterans, we're supporting veteran causes, and we're supporting the causes of the drivers that feel passionate about the specific organization, which is which is tremendous. Wow. You know, knowing Leonard's Express supports uh, military veterans as they transition into the workforce, you know, veterans will always, uh, I feel like, always have a home uh, at Leonard's Express. You know, Ken, it says a lot about a company that goes above and beyond for employees establishing a program like this. Well, Leonard's, you know, we like to uh, um, support our communities. You know, we feel it's important um, to be a part of the communities, you know, that our you know, employees um, live in. You know, it, it defines us as a company. It's part of uh, being a great place to work. Um, and, you know, and we have so many veteran employees, you know, certainly, you know, supporting 
you know, the uh, both the charities and on the uh, um, individuals, you know, that have served our country is important to us. You know, and it's you know this gives us a um, a way to recognize their sacrifices and their family sacrifices in service to our country. And in well, many ways, I think still serving the country by delivering all of these goods, foods, and um, merchandise across the country. I mean, they're, they have a life of service, which is which is amazing. Absolutely. Uh, I think our producer just said uh, the the video is is ready. Go ahead and uh, roll it. Sure. All right, buddy, we're off. What do you got to say? Jim and I are on our way to Idaho to present the uh, Marine Military Ram Truck. Uh, it's going to be an awesome trip. Can't wait to get there and present this to the driver. Just got on the New York State Thruway, headed to Caldwell. Yeehaw! We just stopped to scale up. Perfect. On our way, baby. Hey, sir, where are you from? Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, you see our new truck, what do you think? I think it's great. Are you a veteran yourself? Yes, sir, Army. Army veteran? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. How's the trip going? Oh, we're doing great. We're uh, Pennsylvania State Line, um, two and a half hours under our belt. Um, seven more states to go. So Kevin, I haven't really been in a truck before and I was struggling with this seatbelt, but then it finally clicked. So Kevin, it's Father's Day, and I've been having an issue with my kid. He's been eating a lot of electrical cords lately. What should I do? Oh, that's no problem. Ground him. Come on now. Who doesn't love a Love's Travel Plaza? It's a beautiful morning here in Ottawa, Oops. Illinois, but we got a wheel seal problem. So we're off to the repair shop. Wheel seals. Am I right? Anyway, we'll give you an update. Good luck to us. So we're here at the repair shop and you guys are seeing our truck. What do you think? It's a nice looking truck, man. Beautiful design. Yes, it is. Thank you for all the troops out there that did serve. I like that saying, too. This is a success through service with Leonard Zepress. Definitely check them out. They got some nice, beautiful trucks. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, um, Keith and Bob, uh, uh, you guys are going to be making some appearances at the 4th of July parades and other events this summer and fall. Uh, Keith, you were at a parade this past weekend. How'd it go? Um, it went uh, very well. Uh, the response to the truck was was incredible. Um, one, uh, the, of course, the kids, the kids are always drawn to the jets and but the one, uh, the one that really touched me was right at the end. It was an older gentleman. As I was coming down the, the line, they called it through the, um, the alley of flags. They had all the flags, the state flags, and all lined up. And right at the end of this, there was this older gentleman. He had oxygen tank on, and he was sitting in his seat. And I had a speaker that I had put out that I could play some patriotic music. And I was... Uh, as I was coming down, the national anthem started playing. I had set it to play right at the end. And this this uh, <clears throat> older gentleman who was a veteran himself, he just starts taking his arms and he's, yeah, yeah, God bless the USA, yeah, yeah. And that was really, really touching. And you get all the thumbs up, as Bob said. And uh, there was just... Um, it seems like that people have been nicer to me on the road too since I've been since I've been in this truck. It's amazing. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yo, know, Bob, how, how have people reacted to your truck? Uh, been a lot of pictures taken. I pulled into that truck stop at the junction of I thirty and or Highway thirty and I fifteen. That little pilot there. 
Dad couldn't have to take video of me driving around the fuel outlet. So it's been pretty amazing. A lot of people, one gal even gave me a phone number, which I don't really need, but I got another lady's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know, that saying that women love uh, a man in uniform, now we can add the uh, the cliche of uh, uh, of men in, in our wrap trucks, by the way. So, and we're not right. impartial to women. I'm sure we have military veterans uh, and women too, but <laughs> I just yeah. thought I'd throw that I in there. Such a hilarious a, guy. <laughs> get a lot of stuff from other truck drivers. They honk their horn at me. I'm, matter of fact, I bought the bracket that goes on the mirror so I could mount an antenna on the mirror, driver's side mirror, so I can get better CV reception because two or three of them been wanting me to talk to them. I can't talk to them because the CV doesn't work too well. Well, I'm sure we can get that straightened out. Yeah, it's getting straightened out this week. Huh, nice. That's great. I so, did have uh, a, a lady that's the director of our aviation museum down here in Hickory followed me off the uh, exit ramp the other day into to where I was, was parking and came up and took some pictures and uh, they're wanting me to bring the truck over to the museum uh, this uh, month for uh, a Veterans Day celebration over there at the museum. And I hope to get some good uh, photographs there with some of the older aircraft out on the tarmac and things like that. So that's gonna be really cool too. It sounds like it, that'd be fun. Yeah, I wanna offer congratulations to all of our uh, military veteran drivers who, who have been uh, selected uh, to represent Lenin's Express um, across the nation. I have no doubts that these trucks, oh, they're so gorgeous. Uh, they're going to get this kind of uh, uh, attention. It's, uh, Tim, good job. It was, uh, I'm glad this program was, was availed. It was a lot of fun to do, and I, I certainly had a small role in this. It was you know, Kevin Adrianson, uh, Tom Ewing, the drivers, uh, the, the family, the brothers are, are tremendous. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the process right now of collecting uh, names, all of our veteran employees. Um, we have a bunch already. We've had some turnover with the drivers, but I really want to make sure that we have all of our records up to date. Uh, so if anybody listening has information about either themselves or other veterans that they work with, have them channel that information to me so that uh, we can make sure we have an accurate list as we go forward. Awesome. Awesome. So we, we've talked about our first two military wrap trucks today. Um, the design phase is underway for the remaining three trucks, Tim. Um, uh, we'll bring you updates on, on these few, on some future episodes of the podcast. Um, is anything else anybody want to add? This has been, again, I'm, I'm excited uh, that we're doing this. I, I just want to take a minute to uh, thank, uh, again, uh, Bob and Keith for uh, their willingness to participate in this program. I know that they're both uh, um, proud of their military uh, uh, service, uh, rightfully so. But, uh, you know, there, there is a little bit of extra um, responsibility in driving one of these trucks. And uh, they've both, uh, as well as the others that uh, we'll be getting into theirs um, later this uh, summer, you know, it, it, there's a little bit of extra responsibility in uh, um you know, doing the parades or just, you know, being willing to talk to somebody that walks up to you at a truck stop or a customer, you know, so, you know, Leonard's Express and uh, um, on behalf of Kevin and Kyle and I, you know, we, we certainly appreciate your willingness to participate in this program. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's important to us and, you know, it's uh, your willingness is appreciated. Yeah. Keith and um, Bob have been amazing ambassadors for Leonard's Express. It, yes, it's a not. real honor. It's a real honor. Very <laughs> much so. Even though I haven't been with Leonard's as long as most drivers have been, but I'm very honored to be able to drive this truck. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. So uh, that's all for this edition of Leading the Way at Leonard's. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you at leadingtheway at leonardsexpress.com. That's leading the way, all one word, at leonardsexpress.com. I'm your host, Dwayne Nepper, and until the next time, keep on trucking. We're running 18 wheels down that open highway. We drive on through the night so you can have it your way. With the angels up the highway, bringing hope across the land. Hey!